let's say you are going to join a new role it can be a new job which means you are leaving your current job joining a new company or it can be a new role within the same company if you are getting into a new role how do you really identify that this is not a toxic workplace this is not a work environment where i will not get support how do you know that you will get along with your manager or with your team members even before you would join that team it is really really important but it is really difficult as well lot of people when they get a new job offer they usually go to social media or read reviews on websites like glassdoor where a lot of people working in that company have said certain things or written certain reviews about that company it can be a mixed bag of positive as well as negative reviews that is one thing people read second thing is people go ahead and ask questions on websites like quora or linkedin they try to reach out to ex employees or employees who are working over there and ask certain questions so these are all ways and means by which you can extract some information and get a feel of what you are getting into but nothing is for proof because companies are huge there are thousands and lakhs of people working in these companies there are hundreds of projects there are hundreds of managers and each manager is different each project is different and has the kind of experience or the kind of environment in which you will work will be different as well so you may get to work with a very good set of people and have a great experience versus on the other hand you may end up working with a set of people or with a manager who is not really good so the big question is how do you really figure out what kind of work environment are you getting into and here is what i suggest you should do listen to this very carefully the interview phase in which you are talking to your future manager is a very important phase usually this is the last round of the selection process if you are going to join a new job or if it is within the same company it might be the second round where the manager is going to take the final call where they are going to select you in their team this is where you need to ask certain direct questions and you need to also observe the responses or the behavior of this manager if you are really focused and keen in this particular process you will definitely observe certain behaviors or patterns or answers because of which you can determine whether this is going to be the right place for you or not for example one of my friend who appeared in an interview last month cleared three rounds and in the fourth round he met the manager now this manager openly said that i am going to be your manager you are going to report to me and he conducted the interview towards the end this manager asked my friend okay i am done with whatever i wanted to ask do you have any questions for me so this is the moment when my friend actually asked certain smart questions the first question was how does my day to day work life look like so if i join your team how is my day to day going to look like instead of answering this question in a pointed way the manager responded by saying instead of telling you how your day to day will look like i want to tell you what are my expectations from you. and then he went on to explain how does he expect this person to operate so while the intent of the manager was to set the right tone or set the right expectations he ended up telling what does he expect what is his style of operation how do other people working in his team respond to him etc but he did not answer what a typical date would look like so this is actually a good red flag which means now you are going to work with somebody who is not going to answer your questions directly who is not bothered to answer or provide direct information this person has a specific way of operating and you will have to align with this person the next set of questions which my friend asked to the interviewer was around working hours what are the typical working hours in this project or in your team 
another important question was do we sometimes need to spend times during the weekend or on holidays or are there any specific scenarios in which we need to work in the evening hours or late night so these were very pointed and specific questions again the responses were not very clear they were vague responses and the manager ended up saying that i don't care how many hours you work but what i care for is that whether the work is getting done on time or not i don't care if you are in office or if you work from somewhere else but i definitely care if there is a escalation coming to me so in a nutshell this manager was trying to tell that okay you have the freedom to operate from wherever you want in whatever hours you want so in a way he was trying to give you flexibility but at the same time he mentioned couple of things which really got my friend's attention for example he said that i don't want you to come to me time and again i want you to take ownership and i want you to solve your own problems now this in another words is ownership where a hiring manager is telling you that i want you to take ownership and run the business as if you own it and don't come to me but as a manager you also have the responsibility to sometimes oversee and help or supervise your team member he did not mention that he was very ruthless in saying okay get the job done it is your business don't come to me with your problems so lot of managers have this style but the way you speak and the way you conduct and the way you set expectations with your team members is absolutely important but for my friend this particular expectation especially the way it was said was not sounding or was not giving the right vibe another question which my friend asked was around team dynamics about what kind of support or training can he expect once he joins the job over here again this person did not clearly specify what kind of training material was available or what kind of team activities that they do to keep the bonding etc instead he ended up saying that you know what when you join a new job there will always be stress there will always be high learning curve and expectation from you so we expect you to learn on your own while we have the documentation we don't want you to rely on the documentation we want you to figure out your own way of learning we want you to fight your own battles we want you to learn on your own all right so this again is setting expectations and tone but it is not giving a clear idea of what is the learning path going to look like so by stating this example what i wanted to share with you is if you look at or if you pay close attention to the way this manager is conducting himself while asking questions or while responding to your questions in the interview you can very well get the vibe whether this is the right place for you or not whether they are going to support you or not whether they are going to be unreasonable and unrealistic all right so if you can develop the skill of asking the right questions in the right way and if you see the interviewer becoming uncomfortable or beating around the bush and not answering your questions then you know that this might not be the right place for you to join all right so rather than asking for people on social media or reading the reviews it is important that you ask the right questions and pay attention to the behavior or the responses of your interviewer of course this is only applicable when you talk to somebody with whom you are directly going to work if you are a part of a bulk hiring which means if you are not talking to somebody who is going to be working with you then you can't really figure all these things out all right i hope this helps you let me know what you think about it in comments if you are new to the channel please subscribe if you like the video hit the like button and do not forget to Share this in your WhatsApp groups. I'll see you in another video soon. Take care and bye for now.